Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? Alright, so I haven't talked to you guys in quite some time. Uh, I'm trying to make a uh, slideshow slash video with the bodybuilding competition and a whole bunch of thoughts after that and trying to make some comparison photos of 2014 bodybuilding competition, 2016 bodybuilding competition, either way. I'm happy with myself, and this bulking season is going great right now. Um, I am up to 164. That's really fucking high, but I'm benching uh, 90 dumb, 90 pound dumbbells at least uh, six to seven times on flat bench, which is great. And I'm still repping 75 dumbbells at least 20, 25 times. Uh, so that's good. Um, now that competition is over, I'm hitting legs super, super hard. Um, Jesse Diamond, uh, another trans bodybuilder guy, came down to hang out with me to start bulking season off right, and uh, we definitely are starting, starting bulking season off right. It's going awesome. I haven't had uh, a person that can work out to my uh, abilities uh, that I like to work out with anyways uh, in a long time, so... I'm really happy that he came down so that I have a spotter, um, and because he does cardio and uh, more abs and stuff, I've been doing at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes of actually running, so like I run about a mile a day on this nice treadmill at the LA Fitness, but um, then on Sunday, we run uh, like half a mile around a lap and then do a whole bunch of sprints and... Uh, burpees and body weight and stairs and all that. Um, I've seen a lot of gain in my thighs, my calves, and just more density. I just look denser, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm not eating as clean as I should be, but I am such a dirty bulker. I don't mean to, but I really enjoy food and I really enjoy sweets. And I also really do benefit from getting all of this fat packed on while I'm working out and pushing myself as hard as possible. Um, so I was going to do show you guys a body update um, because I hope I'll have enough money. I don't know if it's going to happen, but uh, I would like to be able to go to California the next May, May 2017 to compete with Jesse in... Um, 155 class a uh classic bodybuilding physique uh at five four and under and i'm five three so that would be awesome i'd be competing with people of my height my weight my category and i would be judged on my weight my category and people that are the same height and in the weight and category and going for the same category <laughs> working towards the same body types. Um, uh, I'm eating, I mean, I'm eating clean still. I'm still vegan. Sometimes I mess up because it's really hard here in Atlanta. Um, sometimes you just don't know what's in things when you go out to eat. Even they just think that you're a vegetarian and being vegan is different. And sometimes they don't freaking notice. Uh, I actually had some cheese the other day and I was in the bathroom for like three days straight. Like, it was not worth it, and I was super bloated, like, screw dairy, not cool, not worth it. Um, uh, so, also, I started online personal training, uh, getting my school, anyways, like, I'm online personal training school at National Academy Sports Medicine, which is NASM, and uh, I legitimately start next... Tuesday, but I already read chapter one and did a whole bunch of like module one things so that I'm already ahead because I want to just stay ahead and stay on track and really, really be good and like pass with amazing, an amazing grade. But I've been studying with Jesse and he's um, certified in NASM also. And he's already like, wow, dude, you already know so much of this stuff. That's really awesome and that's really going to help you. Um, so that really stokes, I'm really stoked about that. Like, so hopefully I'll be in a gym, personal training, or at least doing online personal training for people by next spring. That is my goal. 
That is what I'm looking for, and this time it is actually achievable. I'm actually in the school. I have my book. I have all the online classes, everything. Um, I'm still working at a only 18-hour-a-week job, so I'm, I don't really have any money at all. It's really bad. That's also why I can't eat as much as I want to eat because, you know, money like for food costs a lot. Um, I'm working out with Jesse right now. I'm working out about, like, five, six days a week, but uh, I'll probably cut it down just to four days a week uh, again, mostly because I really just don't have the time, like, and because I hit almost full body every time I go to the gym, um, and he does more isolation movements, uh, he'll really isolate, like, one target muscle group and do it, and I do that sometimes, but only when I'm cutting most of the time, but I am working on it now because I do need to bulk those target place target areas i need to build more mass there so i'm glad that jesse came down and like we're you know getting ideas and information from each other which is really really cool um uh so yeah that's what's up that's what's going on in my life hopefully in two or three months i'll be moving to Asheville, north carolina um because i'm gonna start building a tiny home uh, and start building a tiny home community uh, with uh, some of my friend. I'm trying to. We're trying to create a business, but a business that will help those that can and will live in a tiny home that can't afford it. It's better. It's it's cheaper and better cost of living, and you can rent to own a tiny home and actually own a home that some people may never own a home. I will never own a even fifty thousand dollar home and that's a really shitty home so i'm gonna own a really really nice tiny home that looks beautiful in the mountains <laughs> i'm really stoked about that because uh, i do miss like the building in my van and like working towards building my tiny house and it's really cool that uh this friend has brought this back into my life because working out and Tiny home living and community is a really big thing to me, and now, like, both of them are collided, and it's just really, really cool, and it's really exciting. Um, I'm still sober. I'm, uh, I don't know what day it is. Um, I am 90... 28? I'm 96 days sober, y'all. 96 days sober! That's pretty awesome. Um, I don't actually want to voice that on like Instagram or Facebook because I don't want to get like more people talking to me about it because last time I hit 90 days and then I relapsed so this time I'm just gonna like slide it under the rug like whoo I made it and then when I hit like 150 then I'll probably be like yeah! <laughs> but um yeah so it's going good uh it's nice my emotional IQ has went skyrocket and my actual IQ is probably raising a lot too. Um, I'm learning more about myself. I'm really enjoying not wanting to just go get smashed or just want to go get drunk I guess. Like I do have the urges but it's really nice that I have enough friends in my life right now and so much going on in my life that like I have to do dinner with them so I I'm not really thinking about, oh, I'm going to be alone, I can go home and drink. Uh, it's like, oh, I'm going to go make dinner and we're going to go talk about business or we're going to talk about life or voting. or I don't know, it's really nice. I'm really happy with the family that's in my life right now. And it has to do a lot with being, you know, not drinking. And it has to do a lot with more self-love. And, you know, I'm just really thankful, really thankful for my Atlanta family really thankful for my leather family more thankful than she will ever know um my alpha my love of my life uh kaz <laughs> she did the work she helped this boy i mean she has helped me get to be the man that i am today and i'm really really happy and um really thankful for her i thank her every day at least seven thousand times a day in my head and I hope one day she knows how amazing of a person she helped me be. Um, she's still in Indiana. <laughs> I think it's been like six or seven weeks. I got another seven weeks to go before she comes back. Um, and then I don't think she's going to be moving in with me at the tiny home. 
I don't really know what's going to go on. I think she's going to go back up to Indiana and finish her, like, do another internship to finish school and then, um, and then probably work at a conservation or something. But it's kind of like, you work your life over there and I'm going to work my life over here and then we'll meet back in the middle again like we do because that's just what we do. <laughs> but this is so long, so long. It's a lot about my life. Uh, I'm going to show you my body. It's not that great. Remember, I'm bulking. I'm 164 pounds. That is 20 pounds over what I was three weeks ago at FitCon. Um, so, yeah. Here we go. And my computer's not that great, and my house isn't that great, and the lighting's not that great. I can try to turn the light on, but I don't know if you're really going to see what I look like. So this is with the light on. I don't know if it's better or if it's worse. Um, Getting there. I mean, it's progress, guys. Work in progress. This is the first. Um, this is 10 months having a gym. Uh, all the other time, it's like six months with a gym, six months without a gym, six months with a gym, six months without a gym. This is the first time I've got to work out consecutively with weights. And using body weight. Still using a lot of body weight, but I really want to get a lot bigger. I just feel really small, and um, I'm 164 right now. If I could be 164 at like 10% body fat, I would be a happy man, <laughs> and I would definitely win an NPC show. So that's what's up. Uh, oh yeah, check out a documentary that's coming out by T. Cooper um, about trans bodybuilders and trans bodybuilding. I'll be in there. Um, this is Rufio saying, be good if you're not good, be good at it. Stay swole and sexy, my friends. A little titty dance for ya. Titty, 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 tit, tit, tit.